hashing passwords. Yeah, it's a practice almost every service on the internet uses to securely store your passwords. Instead of our actual password, a hashed value is stored which is obtained by applying the hashing algorithm. Hashing? What's that? Hashing is a process used to transform data into a fixed size value, typically a string of numbers and letters. Fascinating, right? Let's see how we can do the same in Python using bcrypt library. I have this code here that imports the library and has a password to hash. Then it generates salt, which is a random and unique string of characters to strengthen the generated hash value. It will always be unique. Even the same password will have different hash values. The hash pw function takes the password in bytes and salt to generate the hash value. We can also print the generated hash value by decoding it. Additionally, we can also verify the hashed password against the original password. We just need to add this code. The check pw function verifies the original password against the hashed password. Now, if you want more security control over hashed passwords, you can use key derivation function. Here's the code implementing KDF using bcrypt. We have our password and salt, which are passed inside the KDF function, along with the desired length of the derived key in bytes. KDF will perform 200 iterations during the key derivation process. The result of this function call is a 32-byte derived key, which is stored in the variable key. We can print this to display the generated key. That's it. You can implement the same logic within your projects before storing the passwords in the database. If you liked this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Python goodness.